The Morning Office for October 11th. Come, let us sing to the Lord, for the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Exalt yourself above the heavens, O God, and your glory, let it be over all the earth. Let not those who hope in you be put to shame through me, Lord God of hosts. Let not those who seek you be disgraced because of me, O God of Israel. The morning reading is taken from Mark's Gospel, chapter 4, verses 26 through 29. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus also said, This is what the kingdom of God is like. A man scatters seed on the land. Night and day while he sleeps, when he is awake, the seed is sprouting and growing. How he does not know. Of its own accord, the land produces crops, first the shoot, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. When the crop is ready, at once he starts to reap because the harvest has come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let not those who hope in you be put to shame through me, Lord God of hosts. Let not those who seek you be disgraced because of me, O God of Israel. The morning psalm is read from Psalms chapter 45, verses 1 through 8. My heart is stirring with a noble song. Let me recite what I have fashioned for the king. My tongue shall be the pen of a skilled writer. You are the fairest of men. Grace flows from your lips because God has blessed you forever. Strap your sword upon your thigh, O mighty warrior, in your pride and in your majesty. Ride out and conquer in the cause of truth and for the sake of justice. Your right hand will show you marvelous things. Your arrows are very sharp, O mighty warrior. The peoples are falling at your feet, and the king's enemies are losing heart. Your throne, O God, endures forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. You love righteousness and hate iniquity. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. Let not those who hope in you be put to shame through me, Lord God of hosts. Let not those who seek you be disgraced because of me, O God of Israel. Glory be to God the Father to God the Son, and to God the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, I pray that your grace may always proceed and follow me, that I may continually be given to good works through Jesus Christ my Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen.